Hi, I'm Rob Ryder. Welcome to Sporty's program on modern autopilots. Today we'll be discussing two popular general aviation autopilots, the Garmin GFC 700 and the STEC 55X. We'll look at the Garmin system in a standard Cessna Skylane G1000 installation and the STEC as found in a Cirrus SR22. Aviation professionals agree that a functioning autopilot reduces pilot workload, enhances safety in nearly all flight environments, and increases the enjoyment of flying. Sometimes nicknamed George or Otto, autopilots were once a rarity in all but the most sophisticated panels. Today, though, they are standard equipment in the majority of new general aviation aircraft. In this program, we'll show how the Garmin and STEC autopilots can prove valuable in both VFR and IFR flying. We'll first use the Garmin GFC 700 on an IFR flight in a Cessna 182. We'll fly out from the Spirit of St. Louis Airport and head east to the Claremont County Airport in southwest Ohio. Then we'll fly IFR with an STEC 55X, which is standard equipment in the Avidyne-equipped Cirrus SR-22s. This flight will be from the Cincinnati Lunkin Airport to the Lebanon Warren County Airport, also in Ohio. Now let's look at the programmer for the GFC 700. A control interface is located on the pilot's yoke or stick. A go-around button is located near the throttle for quick access and a series of buttons is located on the bezel of the Garmin display. Annunciations appear near the top of the primary flight display. The annunciation display is divided into three sections. The left section is dedicated to lateral mode indications such as heading or navigation. The right section displays vertical mode information like altitude or vertical speed hold. The center section displays the status of the autopilot system such as autopilot or control wheel steering. If the system is disengaged it will be blank. Green letters indicate an active mode, while white indicates a function is armed. 